Hello everyone, welcome back to our Spring Boot tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to learn a most important topic that is called validation. So till now, you remember we have created an API to create a new user and add into our database. But the major problem is what here, in case if username is empty and I can say name is also empty and when I try to click on send, but I want to make sure like name is not empty or username at least contain one or two character. But the problem is here like when you click send, you can see you will get 200 and in the body you will get this response. And if you try to refresh here, you can see name is blank and username also here blank. So we want here validation before saving in our database at the API level. Let's add some kind of validation. So how we can do? So first of all, we have to use a annotation that is called at the rate valid or you can also use at the rate validate and this annotation must be applied to the method parameter in our controller to trigger the validation. So let's try to add here, just use here at the rate valid and try to import from Jakarta. So now what I'm thinking like validation has been added for this API and this is our model class. So currently this model class I am treating as entity. If you want, you can create a separate DTO also. So for the name variable, I want to check like it is not empty. That means we cannot add the blank. So what we can do just use her annotation as not empty. And this will also come from Jakarta. Now I'm thinking like my validation will work fine. So let's save and stop your running server and restart. So now click on send. So you can see right, still the issue has been not fixed at all. And the user is still added in our database that name is still blank. So are we missing anything? Yes, we are missing one thing. So you have to add a dependencies, open your browser and just try to search here. Spring Boot Starter Validation Dependency Maven and you can open the first link. Currently the version is 3.3.4. Try to copy this one. You can open your form.xml and just add that dependency. You can remove the version. Now you can stop your server. So I have added now a Spring Boot Starter Validation. In case if my application is uncapable to do the validation after adding this dependency, I can expect validation will work fine. So let's try to check. So you can see here, at least now we are getting 500 error. And if you try to see inside, it is showing like default message must not empty. And you can see here validation failed for argument zero, blah, blah, blah. Currently we are getting validation exception, but this error message is so much confusing. Can we enhance? Yes, we can enhance. So if you remember in earlier tutorial, we have added the global exception and resource not found exception is also there. So let's try to add another exception and that exception will handle the validation kind of exception. So I'm just going to copy paste the code. So this is the method argument validation exception thing. And this is pretty similar like whatever we have done for resource not found. So here what we are doing, we have created a has map. And after that, whatever error we are going to get, we are iterating one by one and we are storing all kind of error message details into this error has map and at the end we are sending this error. So let's stop this server and restart your server again. So let's now click on send. So now you can see right name equal to must not empty. This message is much more better compared to earlier. So let's try to enhance our custom message. Open your model class and just add your message here like the name is required. And we can also define the size just use here at the rate size you can import it and here you can put the minimum size length so i can say like minimum size will be two and max equal to 100 that is fine in case if the length is not in between so we can just put the message like the length will be more than one character so this validation i have added only for name variable so let's stop your server and restart so let's remove the name at first time now you can click on send so you can see that the name is required Whatever message we added, it is coming perfectly. The name is required. Now again, you can rerun. Again, you can see, right, the name is required because the length still is empty only. So let's make name as A and now you can click on send. So you can see, right, name equal to length will more than one character. So whatever custom message we have added at the level of size, we are currently seeing. So similar kind of message you can also add for username. 
now you can stop and again rerun so till now we have seen like validation is working fine if one variable validation is missing now we have added validation for two variables so let's check so you can see right first of all we are getting like name the length will more than one character is expecting and after comma we are getting another message for username the length will more than one character so if you change the username only we are getting masses for the length will more than one character for name so you understand how to add the validation in your existing spring boot application so it is not limited only for not empty or at the rate size they have more things you can check the spring document also so in the next video we are going to learn how to create the j unit for our existing application